We see a lot of wrist injuries, uh, shoulder and clavicle injuries from the impact uh, to the snow. And generally, a lot of the injuries that we get are caused by inadequacy of training. And uh, because of that, they have a tendency of wanting to do certain things they think they're, they can take care of on their own and they lose control and either fall in some sort of direction and injure themselves. In the snowboarder category of injuries, uh, generally they happen between the ages of, we'll say 12 and 18 or 20. Uh, a lot of first, snow, first year snowboarders, first time out, no lessons. We strongly advocate uh, the use of uh, helmets, wrist guards, and especially taking some sort of uh, controlled lesson on how to stand up and how to stop and how to fall with their body so they do not injure themselves. I think especially for first time users of skis or snowboards, it's imperative they take a lesson. The solution to a sliding sport isn't obvious because you have to balance over a dynamically sliding device. And most people when they hit ice tend to stiffen up instead of flexing and going with the slide. And learning that one unnatural move is critical to being able to learn winter sports and we all have all kinds of tricks to make them do that. Uh, it's critical because you're going to learn how to stay safe which enables you to have fun, which enables you to, to get better for the progression. So we, we say, you know, our motto is safety, fun, progression in that order. Usually I teach the heel side turn and stop first because it's more comfortable. Because as you come around your turn, you're facing down the hill. It's a lot more comfortable mentally. It's actually a lot easier on you physically too. Because on a toe side turn, when the, the, if you tried that first, generally it's, it's a little less comfortable because you're putting your back to the to down the hill, and if you catch that heel side, it's just an un uncomfortable feeling all the way around, and the kids are going to fall more. So I teach the heel side turn and stop first. And what I do is I just get them to get control, get comfortable, good balance over the board, good posture first. And then we work on getting some speed first because the board can't turn them unless it's moving. And then we practice on looking at where I'm going and staying up on the nose better and using the edge to turn us instead of going down the hill. Like I said earlier, people just going straight down doing this. It doesn't really turn you, you just catch edges. Do the toe side. You've got the heel side down really good. Let's just do another toe side. We're going to work on getting some speed first. Come right to hip size ankles. Get up on the nose of the board. 